Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm in Bognor Regis to go and check out something different at Butlins. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you may know that I've stayed at a few Butlins around the country. And the reason why I've come to Bognor is because they have three different contemporary hotels. One of them is behind me. So they've got the Wave Hotel, the Ocean Hotel and the Shoreline Hotel. The Shoreline Hotel is literally right by the beach. As you know, I love a good sea view, so I've selected the Shoreline Hotel. I have asked for a sea view. Whether I get it or not, I don't know. And is there a possibility for an upgrade as well, maybe, to get a balcony? I did try to book a balcony, but unfortunately they're all sold out. So let's see if I can get maybe an upgrade to a balcony and a sea view. Let's go and check it out. So when I just turned up at the gate, um, they told me just to go to the hotel to check in. I saw the other hotels like a an express check-in but i haven't seen a sign for the shoreline check-in so your guess is as good as mine where to go to check in that's one thing i like about bogner is the fact that you get so much choice in accommodation never stayed in a butlins hotel this should be exciting i think it's that in front of me looks like they're doing some work here since i was last here the huge indoor activity center by the looks of things well here's the hotel so close to the action, all the restaurants and the entertainment. Hold the lift. I've checked in the second floor and apparently I do have a sea view. Something you wouldn't expect to see at Butlins. Is that like stocks? <laughs> the FTSE index? Just came out the lift and I've seen a random little lonely microwave. For baby food, maybe? 233, which is down here. Family hotel, you can hear babies crying. Like the floor, like the theming. I love the feeling of being on a boat. These are mirrors. I know what you're probably gonna wonder. The smell, what's it like in here? It smells clean and fresh. I know I walk into some hotels and the corridors always smell musty, but it smells pretty fresh. Am I ready to butt in? I sure am, if I can get my key out. There's so much stuff in this envelope. Here's the key. Here, oh, normally had a red one in the past. This almost looks gold. That's not gold, is it? The first thing I noticed, the first thing I noticed is how bouncy the carpet is this is a pretty thick carpet is it new might be new but there's plenty of stains on it and talking of stains as i've just walked in i have seen quite a few stains on the walls but we're not going to focus on the bad not yet anyway if there is any bad apart from the stains let's go and check out the room well i was promised a sea view and yeah i have a sea view just a very small sea view just kind of through the bushes a little bit but wait there we go it's a corner sea view. To be honest, I am finding it hard to see out there because these windows are really dirty, which is a bit of a shame. And um, something you don't normally see is you normally see this on the outside, don't you, rather than the inside. But extra safety, I guess, if you've got kids, even though it's normally on the opposite side, all of this. But does it open up? Oh yeah, wow, look at that. Nice. Let that sea air come flushing in. Oh yeah. There's nobody there. You kind of got to step over to see though. The view's okay. Gutted I didn't get one of the balconies though. This is my room. Two bedrooms. There's kids room up there, a bathroom, double bed and of course what looks like a sofa straight out of an office from the 90s <laughs> but let's go and check out this end of the room first because we've got the kids area here now this would be absolutely great when Casper's a little bit older double bunk beds and um, there's also a tv in here for the children but yeah nice and cozy that is actually I really like that Extra storage there. Hang on, what's this? Oh, isn't that supposed to spin around? That would have been great. Shame that doesn't work. 
Oh, I have to press this button here, hang on. Boom, there you go, <laughs> look at that. Hang on, if I turn the lights off in here. Look at that, the kids can have a disco. Kind of a disco. That is really good. That is actually quite a nice little thought. They have their own wardrobe. Nice hangers. And a drawer that barely opens. Someone's left that here. What's that, a hair clip, isn't it? Not good if I've... Uh... Actually, it does not look like the carpet has been hoovered that well, to be honest, because uh, obviously if Casper was with me, he could have picked that up, but there's more storage under the bed. These are not really on any sliders, so they're quite tough, but yeah, loads of extra storage. I know I'm a big kid. I've got to check out these bunk beds. Oh, I forgot to say, I am actually here on my own because Gabby's got a gig. She's a singer, so she can't be with me, but I actually might stay up here and relive my childhood again. What do you think? No, do I need to grow up? Probably. Although the air conditioning is right above me. So that might make it quite chilly for whoever's in this top bunk. I love how the children have got their own little closed off area, which is quite nice. Nice little curtain. Seriously though, this space is really big, nice and roomy. The hall that you come into as well, it's got a big mirror, some coat hooks too. Coming in on the right hand side, we have the safe, some shelving units, big old chunky iron. Love the nautical theme on the drawers. Loads of space actually. Ironing board, some hangers. All this is open, which yeah, looks fine. Thought that was a, hang on. I was gonna say, I thought that was a fridge. Nice to have a fridge in the room. Just noticed that the hair dryer is down there. One thing I've noticed is that you can hear people upstairs. Being a family hotel, you can hear the children running up and down the corridors, but being kids, hopefully that will finish pretty early on. This is uh, a bit different, isn't it? So that closes up and opens out to a little vanity mirror with an extra light. It's kind of cool. So you could put bits of makeup and stuff in there and then hide that away. Pretty nice. The tea and coffee. I've just come back from America. They had never any tea and coffees in the room. So good old Britain having tea and coffee back in the room. Fresh milk. Well, not fresh milk. Tastes like fresh milk. Never heard of that coffee before. Good old Nescafe. A couple of PG tips. And a, that's an old Premier Inn kettle, isn't it? Nice and clean, though. You can tell here where people have been putting on the kettle and haven't moved this tray back, which is probably an idea because look what it's doing to the, the bottom of that. Attention to detail. I am very impressed with the polishing here. I bet this must do the cleaner's heads in. Nice little table with a stool. What's that, Wi-Fi? Internet? Oh, oh I've got a router in my room. Do I need to turn it? Oh, it is on. That's really random having a router in my room. So that must be really good internet then. Huge TV and something for the kids to play with here. Obviously this must move. Yeah, all moves. Hours of fun. And then we come to the bed. The first thing I noticed about the bed was that. This is what looks like leather. Yeah, feels like leather. And you don't get many beds. You normally get them coming to here, right? With the headboards. Not all the way up. That's pretty special. Ooh, I just noticed I've got mood lighting. Look at that. Premier in colours as well. <laughs> Purple. I like that. Kind of just goes on one side. Doesn't go over the top. It's a shame they didn't lower that and then had the lighting go all the way across. But there you go. That's just... Uh, it's just me. Extra little reading light. Little tables by the bed. And there's another one over here. I'm very surprised about the headboard being that color. Obviously gets wiped over and cleaned, which is pretty good because some things get missed like that. I have no idea what that is. I'm assuming, well, I don't, well, it's not 
anything sinister. It looks like maybe someone's thrown a tea bag somewhere. Maybe someone's missed the bin with the tea bag. I don't know. But that is the only stain that I can see on this part of the wall. There isn't many other stains elsewhere, but it's really random. It just sticks out like that, doesn't it? So as I said, I'm here on my own. So the bed all to myself. That's quite comfy, actually. Straight away, look at that. I mean, there's not much covering on the mattress. And uh, there I look. I'll have to inspect that later, but... Oh, I hate that when, look at that, the sheet doesn't even fold over. You've got the bare mattress. Pretty funky sofa. First thing I see though, is that there's a nice stain on there, a couple of stains on there. I'm hoping it's tea. I don't know why, I've just got this um, image that people keep dropping their cups of tea in the room. At least that's what I hope it is. A nice little table though, to put your tea and your coffee. And I can sit here and have a, a good look out to sea. Well, I can, but the windows are really dirty. All kinds of different stains down there. It looks like, now I would know this because of uh, living with Gabby and Holly, but that looks like mascara maybe on there. I think there's some tea stains on there too. I think that's just where the stool has been, but it's also really sticky. So that's a little bit odd, but there is a lot of stains on this carpet. Gabby always says to me, how on earth do you spot these things? Well, I've got a good eye. And as I was just looking at the curtain, <laughs> please tell me that is not what I think it is. I think we've got a bogey. Yeah, that's a booger, definitely. And I know this is not a five, and I know this is just nitpicking, but I kind of found this funny that the painting kind of stops just there. And when they were painting this room, look, they got it over the leather. What were they thinking? But what you're all waiting for, and I know because I look at the analytics and you love to look at the bathroom. So let's go and check it out because apparently these bathrooms are very nice. It's behind this door. That's quite trendy. Again, for children, they'll absolutely love that. It does look on the face of it nice and clean, but also then looks a little bit, um, I don't know, that wood makes it look a little bit old, doesn't it? Look at that though, there's, <laughs> oh, if Casper was here, look, there's a little stall so little children can get up and brush their teeth. Now I know this has been cleaned, but that looks pretty dirty to me. We have some butlin soap, some fresh towels, toilet roll. I can hear other people brushing their loos. Don't know if the camera picked that up. Well, the bath looks pretty good. The enamel is coming off there quite a bit. I keep hearing their toilet flush or their sink go. Oh, they're upstairs or next door. Shower head looks pretty decent. And instead of a shower curtain, look at that. Again, I feel sorry for the cleaners. They have to come and clean that every time. Good job. Now, if you do look closer, you will find grubby areas, but I mean, I'm just really pointing that out just for the sake of it. We've got a heated towel around, which is nice, a little bin too. Oh, no point on the toilet roll. So the toilet seat, I know, <laughs> I don't want to show the toilet seat, but there is an extra toilet seat on top of it for your children to go and they won't fall in the toilet like I did when I was a kid. So I am here on my own. It is getting dark very quick, so we're not gonna do too much of a walk around the park. Plus I have already done a walk around the park before, which you can see just up here, but make sure you watch the whole video until you click that. I'll also put it at the end. But let's go and get some food in one of the many restaurants here at Butlins, come on. Just notice from downstairs that they've got a balcony up here. It's locked. Don't think people go out there. It's a bust air conditioning unit over there. So there is a restaurant here and uh, it's open for dinner and it's a buffet, which is 11 pound. I just had a look in there. I thought that, what's the time? Up at six. I'm sure they're gonna keep replenishing, but it didn't overly um, float my boat. So I thought I'll probably give dinner a miss. I just was actually inquiring about breakfast in the morning. And if you haven't booked a meal plan on your room, then um, they're not gonna do walk-ins and the hotel is quite full. So I might not be able to get in for breakfast tomorrow. But so unless you put that on your booking that you want, you know, food and pay for it there and then, just a walk-in, you might not get it. But the skyline is just over there. There's still plenty of options for dinner though. I can go and eat in the diner, get myself some dirty fries. 
bargain. Or I can go for fish and chips here on the left. And I could even just go into the supermarket and get myself a sandwich, but I'll see what's on offer in the skyline. That looks like it's not currently open. What time is that? Oh, it's closed. But they got takeaway though, so I could have it in my room. It's a big queue forming for Reds already. Big queue. I think I prefer the uh, Skyline Pavilion in Skegness. I mean, they're all pretty dirty, but I don't know. The one in Skegness seems a bit bigger. Food choice wise, I've got Chopstick, Burger King and Subway. Notice they've got a new entrance to the Skyline Eats from this side, which is pretty snazzy. Another choice for food could be the Beach Comb Marine, actually. Let's have a look. What's on the menu? Ooh, bangers and mash. Can't go wrong with a steak and our pie. So it's the end of the day at sunset and the sky is actually uh, really lovely and pink over there. What doesn't look so great though is the, uh, the fencing here at Butlins Bogner. It looks like a prison camp to be honest. There's my hotel just behind me and if I wanted a quick stroll on the beach maybe in the evening well I've got to get out before eight o'clock. The exit to get out of the park is all the way up there. So you have to walk really far from this particular hotel, Shoreline, which is the reason why I picked it was because it's got sea views. But the fact that you can't just go and have a stroll on the beach, you have to walk all the way around. And that main gate closes at eight o'clock. So you have to walk all the way around the other side, which is a little bit of a shame, to be honest. Good morning. So breakfast is on the cards. I'm hoping I'm going to get it. After what I was told yesterday, that if you don't book when you book your room, you probably won't get breakfast. Let's go and find out. So after what I was told yesterday, I did get in for breakfast and I've gone for a traditional full English breakfast. I'm eating outside. I was advised not to eat out here because there are seagulls around and there's one over there eyeing up my food. So I've just got to be careful. The buffet, it looks okay. One thing I did notice was the hash browns. I mean, just look at that that is what you call an ultra burnt hash brown but to be fair i kind of like hash browns like this because they're nice and crunchy oh yeah wow you collected my money already sorry that's 11.95 please thank you perfect enjoy your breakfast thank you wow because i haven't prepaid they're collecting my money already making sure i pay for it that seagull go away the only thing i'm gutted about is there's no fried eggs, only scrambled eggs. No scrambled eggs didn't look that great. To be honest, from this side, the hotel doesn't look that great. It looks pretty old and dirty, to be honest. Could do with a paint job. So my first time staying in a Butlins hotel, I actually really enjoyed it. The rooms were very nice indeed. This is the Shoreline Hotel. This is, I guess, designed more for children. And obviously I booked it with the idea that Gabby and Casper were gonna come along. Unfortunately, they didn't in the end, but I'd love to check out maybe the adults only hotel. By the way, if you wanna see the other two hotels, make sure you do click the video here. This is how much I paid for four nights on a Showtime midweek break. I think it was good. Give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.